No, he's the he's the OG villain on the forums. Yeah, before there was Shears on Twitter, there was Cobra on Smash Bros. <laughs> and we're right into it. Okay. Yeah, C Very Cobra clean gets standards. Yep. Cobra gets the one confirm he needs. Oh, I'm liking his movement. Oh, Actually, but okay. Yeah, he turns it around. Yeah, like then that. Jimmy Joe gets the one confirm he wow. needs. This uh, this is probably a good sign for what this set is going to be like. A slobber knocker. Oh, he eyes out of the uh, horizontal standard combo. And he's he almost gets a KO out of it. Didn't quite watch the hitbox on the hood. But without a jump, can't challenge the forward air like that. Yeah. I didn't like that down air either. So after those first two quick stocks, this game has actually slowed down considerably. Yeah, they're feeling each other out at this point. Reads the far jump. Oh no, Falcon Punch. I guess he's serious. This is Division 1. He's trying to get that money, I guess. The money, the status, the recognition. <laughs> yeah, the faint, you know, all of the above. Alright, Pikachu at 0%. Very dangerous he, because this twice, you know, can probably dead. kill. And there we go. Every day of his life. Yeah, cleans it up. Does he have a jump? No, oh, not after that. <laughs> after after all the super technical movement and his like pivots to ledge, it's sort of strange that he should miss the the Falcon Punch right, recovery. Yeah. Sometimes either the controller or you know there's chip dip on your controller. But he, th that's that was a showcase of uh, of exactly where Falcon Captain Falcon's hurt box is on the up smash because Pikachu's forward air was going right through it and Captain Falcon still got the hit. All right, now he's got to edge guard a Pikachu at high percent. Oh, he goes for the level nine strats. Oh, <laughs> oh. didn't have to do it. Did he throw out a fair there? That was weird. So they uh they traded suicides in that game. And, and ultimately, uh, Cobra was the one that had the buffer, so he could afford it. Uh, what I noticed is that just dashing in, reading that the, you know, going for the up smash worked twice in a row. Got him two stocks, so. Mm -hmm. it, it, like, Captain Falcon moves so quickly that you can't really react to that right. in a lot of circumstances. Especially because the hitbox is so good. Yeah, I, no, I don't broken. I don't think any move in Smash Brothers is more of a sure you can than Captain Falcon's up smash in 64. Yeah, the hit stun, like the hitbox, yeah, the whole it, thing's so good. It starts at his feet, it's active extremely fast. It's not frame one. I don't think it has invincibility, so it's not a true sure you can. Right, okay. But it it's you still use it in a lot of the same situations. You can use it as just like a, a quick get off me. Yeah, defensive. Absolutely. Yeah, if, if someone's waking up right on top of you, or, or even if you're waking up right on top of someone, you can just pop it off, and a lot of times if people aren't ready for it, you'll get them. Yeah. And then the combo from there, you know, you it's like pick your story, you know, choose your adventure. Yeah, and that's, that's what Smash 64 is all about. It's about that intense combo game. <laughs> Gotta get the one hit that'll feed into all the rest of the hits. I like the floating mirrors. I think those are really good. And this time, that one hit may have been a weak, a weak hit neutral air. Let's see what he does. Snag? Yeah. Cobra's, uh, he's locking this down right now. Yeah, Jimmy Jones is opening, opening him up, though. He waits out the forward air from ledge. Cobra goes high. When either of these players is on the ledge, the other one is, is paying him a lot of respect. Right. And I'm somewhat surprised to see that much respect from Jimmy Joe because I don't think that Pikachu really has to respect a lot of Captain Falcon's options on ledge. Right. Wow, another tech error from uh, from Jimmy Joe on That's the up B. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't he was, happy with it. He was just about to get that edge guard, so let's see if he can keep composure here. Oh, he yeah. gets a dash for the next up there. Yeah. Which, uh, and as a result, he didn't get the hitbox he wanted, which is uh, why he couldn't continue the combo. Go straight to the ledge. Yeah. And, and what do you do with a Pikachu on the ledge? Sit there and... <laughs> yeah, you wait for him to come back, because it's, it's only until he's back on stage that you can actually do something about it. Uh, what, what was that, four whiff grabs in a row? Dude, floating hairs, man. Yeah, I know, that was sloppy exchange. <laughs> okay. I mean... 
I think that Jimmy Joe is just hitting him with the no mix up mix up. Yeah, right. It's like the level one. Exactly, but it's like I would never do it three times in a row. Yeah, right. And I'm even less likely to do it four times in a row, so he'll never expect it. There's Seven no way. Grab. Oh. Yeah, that. I highly doubt that's what he wanted. Unless it's like next level mind game, I don't know. No, I think probably he was trying to do something with R and the shield came out. Uh, just kind of takes the hit there. That was some very nice DI to prevent any sort of follow up from Jimmy Joe. And now we're in that same position. Cobra up three stocks to one. Jimmy Joe has just had. A there, there you go. He just had a very hard time finishing off these stocks. Yeah, and he didn't get the snap to ledge, so Cobra was able to make it back, and this is... Wow. That goes yeah, the dunk. Clean, clean win from Cobra. Yeah, he's looking very good there. Uh, more or less the three stocks both times. He did have that sort of freak suicide on his last stock in game one, but... Mm. 